Uh, I, I only had one experience in St. Louis. I went out there in like 2011, maybe, maybe 20. Yeah, it was 2011. Yeah. I went out there. There's a radio station out there that tried to hire me. Uh, a guy named Boogie D was out there. I turned the job down. But um, that night, I ended up, uh, Freddie Gibbs, Ninth Wonder, and Rhapsody had a show that LRG sponsored. And it was not a big popping show. It was kind of it was kind of whatever. But after that, me and Fred went to East St. Louis, and we went to a place called the Pink Slip. You went to the Slip? Yes. Fred Tom, man, he done did. <laughs> you was in the Slip. They had you in the Pink Slip. Yeah. That's what's up. You had fun. I had a great time. Yeah. Is that is that? Uh, have you been to the Pink Slip? Yeah, I don't even think the Slip open no more. Is it closed? closed? Yeah, I, don't, I ain't been to the Slip in a line, man. That's some old school shit. I ain't did that in a minute. Mm. But I ain't lived in St. Louis in a while too. But nigga, that's some. You you was in. You was on some St. Louis shit, but East St. Louis, different state, ain't Illinois. St. Louis. Correct for people who don't know, East St. Louis is in Illinois. Yeah, that's Illinois, straight up. And then St. Louis. And St. Louis is St. Louis, USA. Cause we don't claim Missouri. St. Louis, USA. Then it's East St. Louis, Illinois. You don't claim Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, that's a red state. We a blue city, I guess, or something like that. But we don't really be fucking with the whole Missouri wave. That shit real racist and fucked up out there, bro. Straight up. I've heard. Yeah, Missouri terrible. Uh, I mean, it's it's like a swing state. So there's like all all sides of the coin there, right? Like you yeah. said, like St. Louis is probably a blue city. It's definitely a swing state for a reason. Yeah, St. Louis where all the black people. Kansas City too. Like a lot. Of, you know what I'm saying? St. Louis, Kansas City. But shit, even more so St. Louis. Shout my KC niggas though. How far is KC from uh, St. Louis? A couple of hours. Just a little drive. You know what I'm like when you're growing up, right? Obviously, St. Louis has had a successful rap scene. Shout out to Nelly. Shout out to St. Louis. It's Chingy, Jaquan. We can go on and on. Yeah. Um, and then, like, obviously, Kansas City has like Tech Nine and the strange music shit going on. Yeah. How influenced were you by just all that shit in general? I was influenced by the Lunatics. And Nelly on some how to rep St. Louis, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think I was influenced by my city in the same way Nelly was. Like where I'm from, it's like some soulful shit. Like our, our parents listen to like a whole bunch of like old soulful shit. Like we all grow up in church. If you from the hood, you grew up, you you was going to church or you was by church or it was some right. people by, from church people around you. So you feel me? All that shit kind of just inspire all that singy shit. You know what I'm saying? That, Bluesy shit, you know. Yeah, I think Nelly uh, successfully probably did like real melody and hip hop before what? most people. That nigga was like, hey, probably Ma, before everybody. How you doing this shit, son? Yeah. Now, hey, uh, pick up the mic and yeah. put the drugs down. That's like one of the hardest Nelly songs ever, bro. Yeah, hundred loving me, bro. Oh god. And Free City was an underrated album. Yeah, Free City hard too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Murphy Lee, man. Shout out to the whole. Uh, who else was from? Shout out to Murph Dirty, man. Real nigga, he vegan too. He's vegan. Yeah. Are you vegan? No. Yeah, good for you. Hell nah. I couldn't do it, man. Yeah, I think he's vegan shit. He look vegan nowadays. 